Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new ColourPop video. Today I am going to be playing with the new Shore Thing collection. This is an exclusive at Ulta currently and I had so much fun playing with it. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep watching. From the collection, I picked up two of the little quads. This one is Shore Thing. It's more of like that pinky mauve color. And Wait and See is this beautiful turquoise aqua. So I think I'm actually gonna do the pink on one eye and the aqua on the other. I don't normally do two different looks like that, but why not? I feel like I don't have a lot of products to play with, so it's pretty easy to incorporate them all into a video that way. I did pick up a Jelly Mutt shadow. This is in the shade Mojave Moves, and it is this really pretty pearlescent shade. It's, I think, a re-promoted shade. It's nothing new, but it's gorgeous. It's this very pearlescent white ivory. I'm really excited about this one. We have two Fresh Kiss slippies and a highlighter. So let's go ahead and jump into the look. I think the first palette I'm going to go into is Shore Thing, which is the pink one. This packaging is so cute. It has like the little wave and the sand and the palms inside. It's gorgeous. Obsessed. And here is the quad. Because they are quads and there's only four shades in each, I think I'm gonna try and use all the shades from each quad. So first I'm gonna go into Current Event, which is this matte pink. And I'm taking that on a ColourPop E15 fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna start popping that in the crease as my transition. This is super pretty, just a soft pink. Love it. Next I'm going into a ColourPop E18 and Boat Life, which is this really pretty light pink shimmer and I am popping this one on the inner half of my eyelid. The nice thing about quads is it's so easy to put together cohesive looks especially I feel like the ColourPop quads they do a light matte, a dark matte, a light shimmer, and a dark shimmer so it's super easy to put looks together and use them all in a look if you wanted to. Using that same E18, I'm gonna go into Umbrella, which is this darker rose gold shimmer, popping this one on the outer half of my lid and blending it into Boat Life. Last but not least, I'm gonna take this Tarte Mermaid blending brush and going into Beach Ball, which is this darker burgundy shade. And this I'm gonna just pop right in the outer corner just to add a little bit of depth and start blending that outwards. Because there are only four shades and I want this look to feel kind of light and airy, I'm not really gonna pull it in towards the inner part of my eye. I'm really just gonna keep it on that outer corner and just diffuse it outward. Something like that. Very simple, very subtle. Next, I'm gonna take this angled shadow brush from Aesthetica and hop back into Beach Ball. This I'm just gonna smoke on the very outer portion of my eyelid. Then jumping into my Morphe 210, I'm gonna go back into Boat Life and I'm gonna just pop this right underneath my lower lash line in the inner half, just to brighten the look up a bit. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and going into just a white cream shade and I'm gonna just buff underneath that lower lash line to make sure everything looks nice and even. And now I think we can hop into the other eye and then I'll do lashes and liner last. This one is the Wait and See Quad. I really like this one. Out of all of the ones that they released in this collection, I think this was the one that excited me most. So I'm gonna start with a Morphe M433 and I'm gonna hop into the shade A Dip, which is this lighter aqua shade right at the top. And I'm gonna use that on the crease. I'm pretty much gonna do the same layout as the other eye, just with the blue shades. This is a very pretty aqua shade. Next, I'm gonna take this Melt and Beetlejuice Taper Blending Brush and jump into Pure Love, which is this dark blue matte. I'm gonna take my ColourPop E4 and jump into this top blue shimmer. This is called Catamaran, I think is how you pronounce it. Catamaran, Catamaran. I'm gonna just take this on my brush and start by popping that in the inner part of my eyelid, very similar to how we did the light pink in the other look. And using that same E4 brush, I'm gonna hop into Sink or Swim, which is the darker of the blue shimmers. And I'm gonna pop that in the middle and outer portion of my lid. Next, I'm taking a Melt Detail Blending Brush and hopping into Pure Love, which is this darker navy shade. And this one is the same concept. I'm just gonna pop that in the very outer corner. I don't wanna bring it into my eye too much because I wanna keep my eye looking open and bright, but I'm just gonna kind of buff that outwards. This one is very pigmented. <laughs> Might have overdone it just a tiny bit. For my lower lash line on the blue eye, I'm gonna use that same Aesthetica brush and I'm just gonna clean it off in my color switch real quick. And like last time, I'm gonna hop into the lighter blue shimmer just for right under my eye. 
And then using the same brush, I'm just gonna hop into the dark blue matte and I'm gonna do this one on the outer portion of my lower lash line. So these are the two eye looks with the two different quads I picked up. I actually really like how the shadows performed. They are phenomenal. The bluer quad reminds me a lot of the Nook Ink and Animal Crossing quad, but looking at them in the camera, I would say the blue one is definitely more blue. The shore thing one is more blue, whereas the Nook Ink and Animal Crossing is more green, but they would be very cute companion palettes if you had both. It's definitely not a necessity to pick both up, of course, but if you happen to have both, they would be great companion palettes. For my waterline, I'm gonna go into a ColourPop in Bambi Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Meadow. It's very much like an eggshell white. It's kind of yellow based. I almost don't feel like doing winged liner today. So I'm just gonna hop into my Essence Lash Princess Mascara to finish off the eyes. I do wanna try the Jelly Mutt Shadow. So I'm gonna take a Lunar Beauty E6. Look how pretty this champagne shade is, but I'm just going to dot that into the Jelly Mutt and just pop that right on my inner corner very lightly just so I have a little bit of sparkle in the inner corner. I'm trying to remember which collection the shade originally came out in because I think I've had this shade before. I don't think I have it anymore, but I'm pretty sure I had this shade when it first came out. I've already done my bronzer with the NARS Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Laguna 2. So I think all that's left is blush and highlight. So let's go ahead and hop into blush. This is the ColourPop Desert Rose blush. It's just a nice neutral peach. And for highlight, the shade I got is the shade Flip Flop, which is this really pretty champagne gold shade. And these are the Super Shock formula. So definitely not the right brush for this, but I can't find my Kaleidos brush anywhere. I do have two of the lip stains. This peachy one is First Bite and the Nude Warm is On the Wharf. I think I'm actually gonna go in with the Warm Nude one just for simplicity's sake. I feel like the peach might be too much with this look. But these are the final eye looks, the final cheek and lip look. I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun, very simple. I don't think I'd normally wear two colors out, but I wanted to try both the quads in this video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you picked anything up in this collection. I'd love to know. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.